mommy, isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Welcome back to my channel everyone. <laughs> One minute. Connie's gonna start barking straight away because I'm not talking to her. Yes, I've been busy today and I've been to the dog food shop, Connie. And yes, I've got you a treat. Grim. Bye. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. I've decided to do a little series of like healthy eating videos showing you stuff to do with Slimming World, uh, sharing my weekly weigh-in results and uploading them every weekend. So I bought a 12 week countdown with my mum two weeks ago, so we're two weeks in. Um, I did actually film the first week but I'm on a new camera and <laughs> for some reason it recorded the whole thing in slow motion with no sound so that was wonderful. So if you're not subscribed already, hit subscribe if you want to see weekly videos of me uploading what my weight loss has been. With the 12 week countdown it was £64-ish and um, both me and my mum bought a countdown so we both got given one of these books. I've had a look through, I'm not making anything out of this this week um, but I did do a list, I've got all my food shopping which I'll talk you through and yeah. So this part of the video is kindly sponsored by Anna Louisa. If you have watched some of my previous videos before then you will know that I work with Anna Louisa quite regularly and I absolutely love their jewellery on the website. It's a sustainable brand, but not only that, I've never had a pair of earrings because that's usually what I buy, um, these like huggy type earrings. I've never had a pair that have tarnished, gone funny. I've got quite sensitive skin and they've never like disagreed with my skin or anything. Everything I've ever bought from there looks like it did the day that I got it. The first pair of earrings I got were these sort of like chain um, earrings. I don't know if you can see a good close-up. I will put a picture of them up as well from what they look like on the website, but these are just the perfect everyday earrings for me. I sleep in them, shower in them, everything. They're a completely carbon neutral brand. I absolutely love these. Got that gorgeous knot detail on there. I'm not a big hoop wearer, but when I just want to dress up an outfit a little bit more, then they are like the perfect thing for me, I think. And then the last pair of earrings I got, which, and these are my favourite, how absolutely gorgeous are they so yeah definitely worth checking out i would never ever say that something was good if it wasn't i've been wearing anna louisa jewelry now for like two and a half three years and honestly hand on heart it is the nicest jewelry i've ever worn it's, it's definitely more pricey than the stuff that you would get on the high street but then sometimes i've bought stuff from the high street and i've worn it once and then it's gone rusty and green um whereas these these are gonna last you the i promise you these are gonna last you so yeah, I think you can tell by my choices, I like dainty, um, quite minimalistic jewellery, but they do have some really nice statement pieces on the website as well, so it's definitely worth checking out. And um, my code, which is on screen now, will get you 20% off your order at the checkout. I'll leave links to all the bits that I've got in the description down below, and then you can just go and shop yourself and have a look. Um, but yeah, you won't be disappointed if you order from there, definitely not. So, back to Slimming World. If you are thinking of joining up, the books look a little bit different to what they used to a few years ago. So, I haven't been a member for about three years. Um, so, the book now, this is the, everyone calls it the butterfly book. This is the one that your weigh-ins um, get recorded in. So, that's that one. And then, obviously, you get your other bit with the um, food diaries in there. And they look like they used to um, years ago, where you just basically write down everything you've had, all the sins and everything. I, for the last two weeks, have religiously written down everything. So just to give a bit of context, I was at my lowest weight for my wedding in August 2019. Since then, I've put on about three stone. I'm not wanting to get all of that off. I'm wanting to get two off and then see how I am, see how I feel in my clothes. I'm not losing weight for the reasons that I did in my 20s, which was just to get as skinny as possible because that's just the way that I wanted to be. And it was all very much like appearance driven back then. Now it is so much different for me. Not only am I doing Slimming World for health reasons, it's to help me lose weight, that's obviously the ultimate goal, isn't it? I, I want to lose weight because I want to feel better. Um, I feel really sluggish at the moment. My energy levels are just absolutely shot at. But there's so many more other things that I want from joining Slimming World. So the social element of it, going to group, getting weighed and sitting in group with other people that have got the same goals as you. 
I have spent the last, I've spent since lockdown and a little bit before that working from home and I've felt myself over time just getting to this rut of not wanting to socialise with people and part of it's been like a subconscious thing, I've not even noticed I've been doing it so it might even be going out doing a food shop, you might see people that smile at you and it's like a normal thing to interact with people during the day and I've just been doing my food shop online so I only have to see one person and that's the person that delivers the food to my door. It's not a good way, it's not the way that I want to be. I'm really making an active effort this year to just make small changes that are going to make my life better and I touched on this in my last video when I basically said um, I am doing this for my mental health because when my anxiety is quite bad um, I'm a massive overthinker but if I'm concentrating on cooking healthy meals, um, doing my food shopping, writing everything down that I'm eating and just shifting my focus onto something that's just a bit more present then I am not worried about things that I can't control. This, I can control. And as somebody that comfort eats a lot, I just think that this is gonna benefit me a lot. And it already has done in the last two weeks. Like, don't get me wrong, I've still got my down days, but I've definitely seen a shift in my mood since doing something that I feel like is just for me. I hope that gives a bit of background of why, as to why I've joined Slimming World. But my first week went really, really well. I lost three pound in my first week and I think that's the most I've ever lost in my first week of Slimming World. I'm not somebody that weight just falls off. I am somebody who really, really struggles to lose weight. Even more so now I think that I'm in menopause. So in my first week I lost three pounds and in my second week, which is this morning, I lost zero. Um, so I maintained my weight. Normally that would really really get me down but actually I think no because I quite enjoyed this week. I had about eight sins on average a day, um, not to mention eating out on Sunday, last Sunday and eating out last night. So I can't really complain because um, I don't think I've stuck to the plan properly and I haven't gained so I can't complain that can I. My mum's done really well by the way. She lost five and a half pounds in her first week and she lost two this week which means that she got a half a stone certificate. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to get that next week but who knows, I'll, you'll be the first to know because I'll be uploading it on here. If you don't follow me already on TikTok, I'm documenting loads of Slimming World stuff over there as well. It's at Babbling by the Brook and I'm putting the odd bit on Instagram too which is the same name. So I'm going to set out all the stuff that I've bought. So I went to a few different places today. Um, I went to Aldi, B&M. I also nipped into the Iceland food warehouse place. This isn't Sun and World related but bought myself some tulips. But, um, because I love Aldi flowers at the minute. My mum got me these ones last week. So these were from last Saturday. So we're a week on and look at them. How gorgeous do they look? And it's just every morning when I'm coming down making my coffee I'm thinking of spring. Um, I just love daffodils. Those hyacinths are so strong, it's untrue. Tom really doesn't like them, but yeah, I'm enjoying my kitchen at the minute. It looks like a little florist look. I've even got these ones um, that Tom's grand bought me. Roses in there. I'm not very good at <laughs> arranging flowers, but those lilies as well. They smell amazing, but I've got to keep them well away from the pets. So they're going back up on my windowsill. So I'm going to get all this unpacked now and I'll show you what I've got for the week. I will tell you what's from which place in case you're looking for any of these things that we see. Um, but I'll just talk you through now what it is that I bought from Aldi, B&M and Iceland this week. So first things I picked up were these tulips. Like I said, they were £4.50. Um, I then got um, four different potatoes. These are really good for when I'm working from home and I just need something quick and easy. And then I got one big sweet potato. It just makes a really nice sweet potato. I'm actually doing like homemade Nando's one night or something. On to veg and salad and things like this. This is what I add into my meals to make them a bit more speedy and to just reduce probably the overall calories. I know calories don't really come into it with Slimming World, but I assume, you know, if you use the half your plate should be speed and then a quarter should be protein and a quarter should be your carbs. I try and follow that method where I can. Um, so like I really enjoyed making stir fries last week so, and I got some tender stem to wear my stir fries but then to also go with other stuff because I've got quite a bit of fish this week. Um, these tomatoes are really really nice. I did these in like an oven baked um, fish dish that was on my TikTok if you saw that last week so I got some more of those. I need to just interrupt this by showing you the tie that I've got for Connie from B&M. This was £2.50. She keeps barking while I'm trying to do this video. So. Water's 
Crest, Spinach and Rocket um, and Wild Rocket just to bulk out my meals and just cut down my portion size a little bit. Peppers, I thought I could do fajitas one night. Um, I got some limes because I'm planning on doing like a Thai dish with cod. I got carrots, asparagus, that'll go nice with fish or chicken, whatever it is that I'm doing. And some jumbo spring onions. I got some of these last week and they just worked really nicely on top of my stir fry with like chilli flakes. I loved it. Um, a cucumber, you can't go wrong with just adding as much salad as you can possibly get. And I try and get rid of all this early on in the week so none of it goes off either. On to fruit, I thought for a couple of the days, I might for my breakfast start having just fruit and yoghurt so, so that I'm saving my healthy beet and my healthy air choice um, for later in the day and I can have them as like baby bells as a treat at night while I'm watching Love Island or like a skinny whip bar, whatever it is that they're called, as my healthy bee instead of just really using that allowance on like wheat a bit because I'm getting rid of my healthy bee and one A all in one go. If I just said fruit and yogurt, like it's a good way of saving so that I can have treats later on. Um, so that's a good tip. Got some strawberries to go with. If I decide to have wheat bits, I'll have them with wheat bits or I'll have them with just fat free yogurt. Some blueberries and raspberries, I got two. Um, on to like bread and stuff, I got some of these soft wholemeal pitters from Aldi. These are your healthy extra B. Um, the only problem is with this, and I noticed it last week, so I probably shouldn't have bought them, is for them to taste nice, you've got to pack them with like mayo or sweet chilli or something. Otherwise, it's just boring. So if I'm putting tuna in, I'm having mayo with it. If I'm putting chicken in there, I'm having sweet chilli with it. So I need to find the really, the really low sin sauces. If anybody knows which ones they are, please can you leave them in the comments down below so I can use my sins a bit more wisely with sauces and butter and things like that because I'm just, yeah, I'm going a bit overboard with that. Weight Watchers wraps. Um, uh, three tins of chopped tomatoes. These are just a staple to have in your cupboard for doing any sort of like tomato based meal, I think. Um, and a lot of the sin free stuff that you can make is with chopped tomatoes, like a chilli or a spag ball or something. Tomato puree, got that for the same sort of reason. And then reduced fat coconut milk. I'm sure there's about seven sins in this, um, in a portion of it. So this is when I'm going to be doing the Thai dish. I'm not sure when I'm going to do this because I really want to hold back on some sins this week and try and stick between five and ten a day rather than going more towards the 15 mark because um, I just think it will might speed up my weight loss after having a main turn uh, this week. On to meat, I got some cod fillets, again to do like a fish oven tray bake or I might even do fish and chips one night using this. Got some ham, I just thought this is really good for picking up when I'm hungry. And Pack of chicken breasts, absolute staple, you always need chicken in. Some of the lean smoked bacon medallions, I got those. Um, so if I want to bacon butty at some point, I want to put some bacon in an omelette, um, then I could do that. Some salmon fillets, again I'll use this for a stir fry this week. I also can't tell you how good that stir fry was last week. Um, it's on my TikTok, babbling by the brook on TikTok, if you want to have a look at how I made that. Um, and then some extra lean beef mince. It's really good in Aldi now that they do the 3% uh, fat mince. So this is like the leanest type of mince you can get, I assume. Um, and I'll use that free with chilli, like I said, or a spag ball. Might even make burgers with that. Not made any plans yet, but I've got options. Like, I feel like I've picked good things that I can put together so I'm not too fussed. Um, on to some of the stuff that's got sins in it now. Um, I got these from Iceland. I think that these three sins, yeah, they are 61 calories. So if you use the 20 calories to one sin rule, yeah, three sins for those. It's Love Island. It's when Love Island adverts come on. That's when I want something. These are, let me check. Absolutely loving scanning everything. <laughs> I'm definitely in a novelty phase of Slim and Well because I've not done it for that long. Four and a half sins for those, but it was just enough the other day that to just take the edge off. I just had them with a cup of tea in the afternoon when I was just feeling like I needed a bit of sugar and I'd been in a long meeting and I was pissed off. <laughs> Baby Bells, the, I'm really struggling sometimes to get my healthy A in. So if I haven't got my healthy A in at night, instead of grabbing something like that that's got sins in it, I'll go for that and just use it as my healthy extra A instead. Um, I got pickles for this reason too because pickles and cheese and ham together is like a little picky plate maybe with an apple on the side or something. When Next Level Chef is on and I'm just watching people cooking food, it's the final on Wednesday. If anybody watches it, let me know in the comments. It's like my, mine and Tom's favourite programme. I just feel like I need to be eating while that programme's on, whether I'm hungry or not. just got some of them because they're obviously sin free. 
Um, got some of the uh, Lure Pack, but not the Lure Pack, the Aldi version of this. I'm really trying to cut down on butter because this has got sins in. Have you seen what a teaspoon of butter looks like? It's literally ridiculous. That doesn't even spread on a piece of toast properly. Um, then I got these from B&M. You've got to be careful with these, you know, because some have got sins in and some don't. So I'm not using my Healthy Extra B in a day. I'll be using it on these and my baby bells and stuff. So definitely a top tip. If you're a snacky person, save your healthy bees. Save your healthy A and your healthy B and have them in your snacks instead of uh, with your meals. Because you can always switch your pitta out for a potato. Potato's free and your pitta's your healthy bee. So it's just planning in advance, isn't it? Which I, I can preach. I, can't, I need to actually put this into practice and maybe I won't maintain next week. Um, these yogurts are two and a half sins, but 100% worth it. One of these at night with a few strawberries is just what I like. Um, I could even have this as like a breakfast option as well, but these are really, really good. They do a few different flavours. I think there's a passion fruit one that's really good and there's a blueberry one, which I haven't tried. Um, I saw these in Aldi, which I haven't like really noticed before because um, they weren't in last week and these are two and a half sins as well. Um, but like the Greek style thick yogurt is what I like. It feels a bit more like a dessert rather than, you know, the runny natural yogurt. So um, they had vanilla in these. They had honey flavour, which I wasn't feeling um, and something else, which I can't remember. But yeah, two and a half sins for those. Uh, this rice, I just like having a few packs of this in and it's really cheap in um, B&M. So I just got a pack of that for a pound and that's two and a half sins for the full thing. And then I just got some of the fat-free Greek style yogurt as well, just to keep my sins down a few days. Have that, like I said, with an apple in the morning or like make a little fruit bowl with some of this on the side. Then I got some cardial. I love this one at the minute. The peach and raspberry one is the one that I've been going to the most. Um, obviously that's sin free and having a lot of this in, it keeps me away from fizzy drinks, which obviously has caffeine in and I can't have caffeine. So yeah. Um, eggs were completely out of stock in Aldi, so I had to get these ones from, I think, Iceland I ended up getting them from. And the same with my milk, I ended up getting that from Iceland too, or being a, one or the other. Um, these have got sins in, so everybody uses this. Um, it's supposed to be amazing for making salt and pepper chips with, or salt and pepper chicken. Um, and I think it's half a sin for, like, what you'll need to sprinkle it on your chips. So, um, shall I just check it's not being loads of one level teaspoon is, <laughs> can you see that message off Tom? That's because I hacked his Facebook last week and uploaded a recording as if he was singing and put a status on saying, I've been holding this in guys for so long, music is my dream, watch out for March, big things coming. So everyone's been messaging him saying, um, oh my God, I can't believe that was you singing, you're incredible and all this, it's so funny. Honestly, I'm, I think I'm a 12-year-old trapped in a 33-year-old woman's body. For a tablespoon of that is one and a half, and for a teaspoon of it, it is half a cent. So definitely worth it. Just to make your meals a little bit more exciting, let's say. All day, uh, stir-fry sauces are six cents for this flavour, but these were in B&M, and I'm sure that these are five. Um, so yeah, you're only saving one cent, but it's there. Um, and I need a few of these in because... Stir fry, I feel like, is going to be something that I make every single week going forward. So let's have a look how many are in that. Five cents in that, and it's the full moon oyster and spring onion stir fry sauce from B&M. Um, and it was super cheap as well. I think it was cheaper than the one in Aldi. And then I got this fajita mix. Me being lazy, I could definitely just make my own, and I probably will. But I think having this in the cupboard is just one of those things that's going to make life easier for me when I can't be arsed working out what I need to make a good fajita mix. Like, I know it's probably paprika, cumin, and all those things, but um, it's worth it just to have in if you need it. You can, that's what your sins are there for, isn't it? So three and a half sins for the full sachet, and I would probably only use half a sachet at a time if I'm making fajitas for two people. Like a sin, a portion, so definitely worth having. Um, so yeah, I got that. And that's everything I've picked up. When I'm making these videos, um, telling you what I've lost each week, uh, they won't always be showing you what I've got in a food shop. I might even do like what I eat in a day and things like that, incorporated into sharing my, what, what my weight loss is. If you are interested in seeing more videos like this, please give this one a thumbs up so that I know to make more of them, alongside other stuff that I'm gonna be filming, like vlogs. And 
If you've got any links to any really good recipes, the things that you think that I should try, please leave them down there as well. I know Pinch of Nam is a really good one to have a look at for Slimming World recipes. So let me know if you're on Slimming World. What did you lose this week? Or did you gain? Or did you maintain? Let me know in the comments. So yeah, thank you for watching everyone and I will see you in my next one. Bye.